Once you're comfortable with skating, straight glides, and J-turns, you're ready to take the chairlift. Oh. Like I was saying, riding the chairlift is something you already know how to do. Chairlift involves four simple movements you're already familiar with. One, skating. Two, sitting down. Three, standing back up. And four, a simple J-turn. If you're a loyal fan of the site, you should have already mastered skating and J-turns. That leaves us with sitting and standing. I'll demonstrate sitting. Right. Though similar to my sister's collapse on the sofa, there are a few variables to consider. You'll have your front foot strapped into your snowboard, so your leg will be turned sideways. That sounds awkward. Awkward indeed. Start practicing now. Back away from your keyboard and stand up. Come on, no one's watching. Turn your front foot 90 degrees. Now look behind you at the chair and slowly lower to sit. Instead of planting your entire ass on the seat, you'll touch down with one cheek first. The cheek over your back leg. Once you touch down, shift your weight so your whole butt is resting on the chair and scoot back. Now that you know the right skills, let's work on your timing. Follow the local lift line rules and be courteous. Don't bash your board against the person in front and please, dear God, alternate. Taking turns will make the whole line go faster. It's always a good practice to lower the high back of your back binding before you get on the chair. This prevents it from being crushed by the chair when you sit down. It only takes a second, but it might save you an annoying and expensive repair. When you approach the loading area, watch the people in front of you. Right when the chair passes you, skate forward and stop at the load here sign. Just move at a normal calm pace. You don't need to rush, but you don't want to dawdle either. Turn to look at the chair approaching from behind. Just like you practiced inside, lower onto one cheek first, then scooch to the back of the chair. It's totally okay to put your arm over the chair to help you get on. Riding the chair is pretty much just sitting, except you got a 15 pound weight sitting on your front leg. Lower the safety bar and get comfy. If your front leg starts getting tired, you can put your board, rest your heel edge on your back foot. Riding the chairlift can be a massive source of fear for beginner riders and it's no wonder what with being 30 feet up in the air and the possibility of crashing into the innocent bystanders sitting beside you. But don't worry, you already know how to do this. Like on any sofa, sitting down is the easy part. It's getting up that's the trick. With your front foot turned 90 degrees, scooch towards the edge of the chair and roll up on one bun, the cheek of your back leg. Let your back foot just dangle. Your front leg will be doing most of the work here. Use your arms to push out of the chair, kind of like your 90-year-old grandpa getting up. And when ready, place your back foot on your imaginary stomp pad and coast away. As you approach the top, raise the safety bar, roll onto your back cheek, and point your board straight. Don't forget to keep your tip up. When the board makes contact with the snow, use your arms to raise your butt off the chair just like getting off the couch. Rest your back foot on the stomp pad and coast away. If you need to turn, use a J-turn, but don't try to stop by dragging your foot in the snow. All this will do is make you do the splits, and no one wants that. If you do crash while getting off the lift, and many people do, here are a few drills to help smooth things out. Head to the bunny hill and practice J-turns that start from a distraction, just like when you ride the chairlift. Sit on the snow with just your foot strapped in. Stand up and quickly turn your board downhill into a J-turn. Start squatting down, then rise up into a J-turn. Hop, then do a J-turn. Raise and lower your back leg a couple times while doing a J-turn. Sitting on the chairlift is hard work. I better practice that one again. Although it's a little intimidating at first, riding the chairlift is easy because you already know how. Plus, it's a lot better than hiking and it opens the door to some great new skills like garlands. Take the chairlift to a green run to learn the next step. 
Garland.